Yeah, back outside. Hopefully you can uh, recognize my voice because it's a bit windy over here and maybe you recognize the noise from the i1500 turbine which is uh, running uh, non-stop since last week for approximately eight or nine days now producing some energy. Uh, but uh, the most interesting part for today is of course the tower system and especially the foundation of the tower. And um, I received a lot of questions about that, how I realized the concrete in the ground, how much metal should be inside. Um, sorry, there are some, some screws from my screw test. And uh, yeah, how, how I did everything on a very wet and soft ground. As you may see, it's extremely wet, extremely soft over here. And by the way, this is just only the base, the whole foundation is much bigger. I will draw a short uh, schematic inside. I guess it's better to show you inside. Also some examples of the screws I used uh, inside the concrete so let's take a look on the uh, on the drawing inside yeah inside now a short schematic of the uh, concrete foundation i do have in the ground first of all i have to excuse uh, uh, this uh, <laughs> this ugly drawing uh, i have to say uh, art was definitely my worst subject at school i was much better in physics and mathematics and things like things like that but anyhow and playing some drums but this is a different story anyhow um this is um a small schematic of the um of the concrete i do have in the ground over here and as you see uh, it is one by one by one so one by one and one meter deep so this is uh, uh, one meter approximately three by three by three feet um this is a plate manufactured by easter breeze uh, with the uh, four holes uh, in the plate for the tilt tower system which is going over here and um, please keep in mind uh, the holes are for m 10 screws or m10 threaded rods i used um, four threaded rods m10 size of course with a length of one meter all these four are one meters long and um, I, um, I screwed these metal corners at um, uh, at these threaded rods as well I did it here as an example only with a small screw of course this is uh, in reality one meter long like like this one for example so this is uh, one meter long and i screwed it on that with uh, um, a nut of course a washer then the metal plate then of course a washer again and the nut and um, that secures the screw or the threaded rod much better into the uh, into the concrete and i have it on all these uh, four screws um, what else I did is um, I uh, put uh, three poles at the base of the concrete into the ground. The reason for that is uh, the uh, very soft and wet ground I do have over here. I just want to make sure that the whole block does not um, decrease deeper and deeper, deeper into the ground. So I do have these um, three additional uh, uh, metal tubes over there which are approximately one and a half meters long per each. So approximately three to five, excuse me, four to five feet long. And they're just uh, going uh, into, the, into the earth. Um, the, the distance um, between the, uh, the end of the concrete block uh, uh, and the end of the tube is approximately 30 uh, centimeters, so one feet. So it's approximately one feet around 30 centimeters into the concrete and the rest 1.2 meter is going directly into the earth. These ugly things are some wires which are connected to the uh, threaded rods over here just to make sure that everything is on the same electrical potential. Um, this is necessary of course for um, lightning protection and you should do this in any case. I'm in a very lucky situation that I do have extremely good ground um, so uh, this is may enough as a lightning uh, protection. I, I do have an additional one over here, but uh, this is may enough. As a material, I used, by the way, stainless steel because um, at my location, the uh, water table is extremely high and it's salty as well. I do have salt water in the ground. And so this is the reason why it's not uh, galvanized. It's stainless steel at, at my uh, location. May it's not necessary on your side. Uh, just a different view from the side. 
um, as you may re realize, the, the base plate is just a bit higher. It's over, over the grass uh, uh, at my location. And that is how it looks like from the side. So uh, this is the uh, one by one meter block over here. There you see the, uh, uh, the uh, metal tubes which are going into the earth. These are the shredded uh, rods with the, um, with, the, with the corner, the metal corner. And you see here I have uh, a bit additional concrete and over here there is a metal plate. And um, this one is just 20 centimeters high, approximately 20 centimeters high and 60 centimeters uh, by 60 centimeters. So 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters and 20 centimeters high just as an additional concrete over the um, over the main uh, foundation. That's the reason why I uplifted a bit the um, the screws, so the shredded rods. And the, these are one meters long, and so there's still a bit um, a bit space between the uh, the the base of the uh, of the concrete. Yeah, that's how I realized it on my side. And um, may may I uh, uh, could give you some some ideas how you can realize it on your side. It seems to be very stable at my extremely windy propagations at my location. And if you have any questions, please let me know. know or please uh, write a comment down below. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, please hit the like button or even the subscribe button. I will um, create a lot of more videos in the very near future especially also to Easter wind turbines, maybe even about um, water turbines and also about solar technology and off-grid systems as well. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.